Uh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alex. You might notice I don't have any brows on right now. I mean, I have eyebrows, but they're not done. If you feel like it's been impossible to find the right colors for your eyebrows, or maybe they look too drawn on, maybe they end up looking too dark, maybe they end up looking too warm, too red, uh, or too cool toned, this is the video for you. So let's get into it. Brow products, let's talk brow products. I got a lot of brow products up in here. So I would like to make the case for why you need two different colors in two different products. Say for example, your go-to is to use a powder to fill in your brows. Uh, but that powder ends up looking too warm, maybe a little bit too like orangey red when you look in photos or once you head out into natural sunlight and you take a look at your eyebrows, the sparse areas that you have filled in with the powder might look a little bit more on like the orangey side than those fuller areas of your brows that don't necessarily need as much filling. Or conversely, say you have a brow pen that you use to fill in, but it ends up looking too cool toned. Maybe your eyebrows are a little bit more on the warm side. Maybe you're a redhead and the brow pen that you're using just ends up looking a little bit too green or gray on your skin. So you have this, a similar problem where the areas that you end up filling in look like a different tone than the rest of your brow hairs. And if you go in and fill in everything, it just ends up looking uneven because you filled in areas that don't need to be filled in. I have the solution for you. <laughs> Now it's going to depend fully on you and your preferences and what you're able to make work for you, what those products are and what colors they are. Personally, I feel like the main problems that I see with people's brows is that they often end up looking uh, either too cool or too warm. I feel like too warm is typically the most common one. I feel like eyebrows are usually a little bit more cool toned than your overall like hair color. Uh, or if they're just like too warm, they end up looking like very obvious and weird on your face. People tend to want them to be like a little bit more cool toned than they actually are. If your favorite brow product tends to run a little bit too warm toned, then you're going to need to find something cool toned to balance it out and vice versa. If your favorite brow product ends up making your brows look too cool toned, then you're going to need find, to find something warm toned to balance it out. The way that you layer them and what those products are again, is going to vary. We're gonna use my eyebrows as an example. Now, after lots of trial and error, trying many different brow products, I have landed on the NYX Brow Tint Pen. This is my favorite product. Here's a nice thick swatch of the color, just so you can see it on my skin tone. And here it is next to Blonde. This is Blonde right here from the same brand. This is NYX Brow Tint Pen, just so you can kind of see how they compare to each other. You can see that it looks a little bit more like red toned um, compared to my brow hairs. So when I go in with strokes of this, uh, just in those areas, it's noticeable. It's a noticeable color difference. So wait, what's the solution? <laughs> the solution is implementing a cooler toned product. This tends to be like a more finishing product. It's thin, it draws those really nice thin lines so that you can get that detail. So I like to save this for the end. So I'm going to use a pencil. Uh, I could also use a powder. You wanna think about how these products are going to layer over each other. So the pencil that I decided to pick up uh, is also from NYX. Um, it's in the shade gray. Here are some various swatches of the gray pencil next to blonde and also taupe. You can see significantly more cool tone. You can really see those gray tones in it. Uh, you can see that it can end up being really, really, really dark like that uh, in comparison to the brow tint pens. Uh, or you can kind of like shear it out a little bit more, you know? Now, if I use this product on its own, it's probably a little too cool toned for my brow. You can actually kind of see as I go into the tail that this area of my brow looks a little bit more taupe colored than this area. Now this is looking a little bit too gray. I'm just gonna go in and diffuse that color by brushing it out. It's like very gray, which just not flattering in my opinion on my skin tone. Now on this brow, I'm going to show you the opposite. So I have this brow pencil from Model Rock Cosmetics, very random, it's in blonde. Here is a swatch. You can see that it kind of compares well to uh, taupe and blonde in the um, brow tint pens. And then my finishing product is going to be gray black, also the brow tint pen from NYX. So right here are the swatches. You can see this is gray black. So you can see that it's pretty comparable in tone to the gray brow pencil. 
from NYX. So this time I'm gonna start off with the warm tone. I'm gonna to do the same thing. So I'm going to use a light hand. This is a bit lighter than the gray, so I can go in a little bit more. I'm going to use this to lay in that overall tone and shape for the brow. Again, focusing the majority at the tail, going in a little bit more there, and then just kind of like diffusing it forward. So I have that cohesive color all throughout. <laughs> they look so funny when they're like next to each other like this. You can see a pretty big difference. Very cool toned, very warm toned. This, when it comes to brow pencils, um, in terms of blonde, is actually quite an, a quite a nice tone. Model Rock Cosmetics has some of my favorite brow pencils. Uh, actually, I think my perfect color is um, their shade in ash brown, but it's such an obscure brand and it's really difficult to buy. I think it's like $24 too, so it's not like cheap or anything. So I've been trying to find like the perfect way to recreate this tone with uh, multiple products that are a little bit more accessible. So there are definitely much warmer blonde pencils out there. Just keep that in mind. All right, now I'm just gonna go in with my Pears Soap. I'm just misting this with a little bit of setting spray. I'm gonna lay my brow hairs exactly the way that I want them to lay so that I can finish them off. All right, now that that has set, I'm gonna go in with my finishing products. So for the Cool Tone Brow, I'm gonna be using, once again, Taupe from NYX. Brow Tint Pen. Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen? I think that's the full name. Now for this brow, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna be using gray black, which is the cool tone. Uh, this is pretty dark, so I just wanna make sure I'm not going in with way too much. And the process is the same. I'm going to start off in the most sparse areas. Very gentle. And then as I get a little bit closer, the inner part of the brow, taking the point right up against my skin. So I'm using like the slightest amount just to fill in those little areas. And that's that. You can see that really nice distribution. Even though I hardly took any of the brow pen into this like inner half of my brow, you can see that the color of it looks so cohesive. The brow hairs look even more, like it just looks so cohesive, the color. Whereas on this side, if you look a little bit closely, you can kind of see maybe a little bit more warmth on the tail. Okay, hopefully this has answered some questions for how to get around the fact that your brow product, the color's just not working for you. Now, my examples were brow pens and pencils. You could do the exact same thing using a brow powder and a brow pomade or a brow powder and a tinted brow gel. It's all going to depend very much on your brows, uh, but you do want to keep in mind the contrast of each of those products and what you're trying to achieve with them. Uh, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe and do all those things that you're supposed to do. Um, and share it with somebody who you know is struggling with their brows. Uh, let me know what you wanna see next, man. You got anything else that you're struggling with? I'm here for you, okay? All right, I got other stuff to film. Hopefully nobody notices that my brows are slightly different. Okay, bye. See you next time. How do I have my teeth with this?